Hello everyone. Unveiling partnerships with BYE, Huawei, and Cherry. NIO redefines industry norms through pioneering battery swap strategies and collaborations. Friends, we have a lot to discuss. Partnerships with BYT, partnerships with Huawei, partnerships with Cherry, everything will revolve around these topics. So before delving into the details of partnerships, let's talk about Dr. Shin F.A., who is the head of NIO Power and the NIO Power Swap ecosystem. Recently, he gave a lecture on stage where he discussed the battery swap partnership, and it was quite interesting and somewhat different from what the CEO mentioned. It seems to have more depth because during the earnings report, the CEO only stated that they would provide Alps battery packs to partners, and the partners would build their cars around it. This is quite cool, but what Dr. Shin said was quite intriguing. He mentioned that there are three stages in this whole process. In the first stage, NIO needs to provide the design of the NIO battery pack to actual partners who want a low entry barrier and want quick access to NIO 2000 plus swap stations. So they need to use this as the first avenue of partnership. He mentioned that they might only need a few hundred million RMB and R&D for this, and partners would be capable of modifying their existing EV to support the battery swap mechanism and NIO battery pack. They would be able to swap on NIO 3rd Gen and 4th Gen swap stations. The announcement for the 4th Gen will be made during NIO Day today, so that's quite exciting. And then they said, this is the first stage of the partnership. And in the second stage of the partnership, they said, they will find some good partners. Together, they will develop one or two battery packs and then use it in a wide ecosystem. They said that the best example of this is when you look at gas stations now, trucks, race cars, sports cars, and SUV all go to gas stations, but in different areas, right? You get 93 gas, 97 gas, diesel. So you go to different areas and for NIO, it will be the same. Essentially, you will go to different bay areas for different batteries. There will be a 93 battery, a 97 battery, a diesel battery. This was their analogy of how it will look. So in stage two, there will be one or two battery packs. Then in stage three, they said, there will be ultimate standardization, where once the battery technology matures and the partnership works well, they will all come together to make one battery that will be suitable for everyone, in which everyone will put in their effort. And that will be the battery pack that everyone can use, and it will be a big public network. And the goal is essentially to reach a standardized, better swap. So this is very interesting. It really corrects a big approach and deep strategy, more than just giving partners a battery pack. So this is very good. Now, let's move on to partnerships with BYD, Huawei, and Cherry. It appears that NIO CEO participated in a conference in the Anhui province, because NIO likes Anhui province a lot, and it is also a big home for auto manufacturers. It seems that it was a meeting or conference where they intended to promote partnership and cooperation among all manufacturers, and they directly mentioned BYD, Huawei, and Cherry. The CEO of BYD, Huawei, and Cherry were present there. They had a meeting and, well, they didn't explicitly say they would work together, but they mentioned moving forward for further cooperation between the province and companies. NIO CEO expressed great hope for more collaboration. For me, it seems that something might be happening between all these companies. Personally, I think BYD might collaborate with NIO because BYD lacks certain infrastructure. It makes perfect sense for them to do so, and it could help BYD sell more cars. Investors need not worry because every car BYD sells with a battery swap benefits NIO slightly. It's a win-win for both parties. I'm pleased that NIO CEO discussed this with BYD CEO. It shows understanding. The CEO also emphasized that this collaboration is personally crucial for their future. It's all very positive dialogue. Besides this, the Ministry of Information Industry Technology has also made an appearance. They held a significant conference and intend to push forward some things for next year. Among them is the promotion of battery swap and standardization in 2024. They are keen on promoting battery swap, 
demonstrating that the government takes battery swap and its standardization very seriously. It's all very, very positive. The CEO recently mentioned that with the partners they've contracted, such as Geely and Chainin, there haven't been any difficulties in supporting battery swap and their vehicle's research and development. And for them, this work has been quite straightforward. NIO provided them with the design for the battery pack and actually worked on building cars around it. Very straightforward, very good. Now, some investors are saying that there are concerns about NIO facing competition and people will move on to buying Zeker cars that can swap better than NIO. And this is a very valid point. I mean, this is NIO big move. And indeed, they are giving it away for free. How will they ensure that NIO sells well? You have to think about it not just as a battery swap, but also with different battery sizes and flexibility in between. Also, considering the number of swap stations, because NIO immediately said they are committed to releasing more NIO swap stations. So these will mostly be NIO exclusive, but there will also be third and fourth gen swap stations that can be used for other brands. I think we'll see that NIO will always stay ahead in their swap station game, having the most swap stations, while other partners will gradually build their swap stations, but their pace might never catch up with NIO scale. So for partners who can swap, sure, you can buy those cars you can swap, but if you buy NIO car, you'll have access to more swap stations. And then you can also upgrade or downgrade your battery pack. I also think that the investment thesis has changed a lot because now it's not just about selling cars because you'll only sell that many cars. But when you earn money by selling each car, even if it's just a small amount, it's better to earn from selling some cars. So if you look at it from this perspective, in the future, you will make money by selling cars that support battery swaps. And then, when every swap happens, and every time a swap station is built, you make money. Absolutely, it's a more exclusive premium brand, and the CEO wants it to stay that way. So it will always remain a premium brand, and you cannot turn it into a mass market. Alps brand. Yes, this will be a mass market, and its swapping will be even better but it won't reach the level of NIO. It is more about controlling the battery swap concept. Essentially, it is moving towards becoming a standard or working towards becoming a standard and is becoming part of that standard and has patents for it so that when the battery swap standard is established, NIO becomes a big part of it. And friends, look, there are going to be many more partnerships in the future. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.